It's just your average Saturday morning in June wearing shorts and a puffer coat <laughs> playing a game on the iPad making a grocery list for the weekend and my children begging me what chores to do to earn money because they are savages. Classic, bougie, ratchet. Sassy, moody. What's happening? Yes. I'm a savage. Junie. George. George. <laughs> Not very often do we just sit and bond over electronics, but it's happening. What? The last motorcycle that Dad bought. Mm-hmm. Keep going, Boston. Keep going. The kids, I am teaching them how to mop the floor. Boston, this Boston, that Boston, that is not how you do it. And I asked you to come and, okay, Olivia, look. Remember the spot that I told you needed done still? Look, there's still the exact same things on the floor that didn't get wiped up. Once you put it down on the floor, come over here, because this is where it needs it. Once you put it on the floor, you don't ever, like, Pick, just pick it back up because then stuff's gonna fall. Look, put your hand flat on it and look, like a, hold it. See how I'm holding it between my thumb? You're gonna drag it and you're gonna go and you're gonna go up, down, up, down and you move across a section just like that. And you're picking up, look, let me show you. Come here. When you carefully swipe it up like that, oh, it's right here. See, there's stuff on it. If you just pick it up and shake your towel, that's gonna fall all over the floor. So now you're gonna fold that in half and you're gonna hold those two sides between your hands like this. No, just watch. And then you're gonna start over and you're going to do it again and you're going to, you're trying to catch all of the dirt inside. And then look, you can pinch it to pick it up like that, okay? Go put that in the garbage and then grab another paper towel. But if you're throwing it around, that means you're throwing dirt around. Now, the kids want to earn money. And if I'm going to pay you to do the floor, you're going to do it right, right? And then I check it. Because I'm not just going to pay you and not have you learn anything. And that actually looks pretty good. Olivia, I'm going to have you do just under the bench again. Under the table looks good, but now come do under the bench. See, there's like stuff here too. Wait. Do you want me to get right here or under the table? Under, under the, the bench. bench. Yep, so. but there's stuff right here as well. So just grab, Olivia, so just grab that. Okay. And do under the bench too. It looks really good. You guys are doing a really good job. Here is $2 for doing the dishes. $2 for doing the dishes. $2 for doing your bedroom. $2 for doing the floor. Two dollars for doing the floor. Two dollars for doing the floor. Two dollars for doing your closet and basement. Did you guys do any Two dollars for doing that by myself. Two two dollars no. for doing the shoes. Um, yes. No, that was part of just picking up. Yeah. I cleaned. I cleaned me up. Oh, you did. Good. That's part of like doing the dishes I, and stuff. Okay, mom. You okay, I'll give you an extra dollar. What? You Mom, need to be an extra dollar. All the benches and chairs. Um, no. no you I washed the benches and you dried them. I, I did most of the work. He was daydreaming watching Dad playing game. <laughs> You? I cleaned up this entire hey, kitchen. Can I just ask you guys what you're saving up your money for? Well, so me and the boys wanted to do like a night on the tramp with a whole bunch of friends. So Cody would bring his friends, I'd bring my friend, and we'd like watch a movie with a whole bunch of cheese on the tramp. We are buying our own cheese. Okay. Well, when I was at the store the other day, I thought to grab some of this, and I'm glad I did. I grabbed a blue one for you, Cody, and I can't find it. I think the kids must have got into it. Okay, put your feet up. Is it done burning? Yeah. Just burned for just a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Gosh, dang it, that hurts, doesn't it? Does that hurt? Good. Okay, we got the feet taken care of. We got the calf taken care of and it was barely wide enough. 
that I could put the band-aids on. I thought we were gonna have to put the wrap on. And we got one right here. That was quite the spill, wasn't it? He did a hit to the face? Yes, he tripped up the bricks. Oh my word, go. Yeah. Poor guy. Yeah, he's my tough guy. Poor tough guy. You ready to go play? Hmm? You ready to go play? <laughs> my legs are so dang sore, getting out of the car like that is brutal. The initial workouts of anything suck. <laughs> I'm so sore. I'm so sore from working out. Here's the thing. I, I mean, you know, you get sore when you're done working out. I'm working out like I never have before and it's not just like, oh, my butt cheek on the outside is sore when I walk. No, 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 no. I don't know how it's possible, but the entire roundness of my butt, the top, the center, the side, the underneath, it just like, it, with every step, it's like. Look, look, I'm gonna offer this. I'm gonna offer this. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. And if I need to, I mean, I'll just jump on this grenade. Do you need me to massage that butt for you? <laughs> I need to massage that body. Father's Day weekend. Is that my Father's Day present or yours? <laughs> That's your Father's Day present. Boston to dad. Stamp. <laughs> D-A, dad. And that's like the envelope V. <laughs> Good job, dad. I like it. That's so cute. Let's see. Happy Father's Day, dad. Is that me and you on my four-wheeler? Yeah. Yeah. Are you looking backwards? Mm, yeah. It's a Mountain Dew. A Mountain Dew. <laughs> Man Dow. And he rode it at nine o'clock when you were still sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> We switched uh, Father's Day up a little bit and Mother's Day up this year. You know what we both wanted? Sleep in. We wanted to sleep in. So on Mother's Day, I slept in. And on Father's Day, what time is it? 11. It's 11 o'clock. You needed sleep. I wanted sleep. Happy Father's Day. Thank you so much. <laughs> Last night for Father's Day, Joel and I went to dinner. Mm -hmm. and that was really fun. Mm -hmm. Should we make some breakfast? Yeah. Are you starving? Brunch. Brunch. Yes. I'm preparing the things that we're gonna take down with us to Joel's parents' house, and we Joel is making a breakfast. Oh <laughs> is that ground beef? Tell him what it is. It's chorizo. Okay, um, we got these from the store the other day, and um, the white ones had 250 calories per shell. We've been buying these ones. They're only 50 calories. And they're the like so spinach and herb. They're really, they are really good and soft. Nice. How fun does that look? I can't wait to go home and, or go to your parents' place and put that together. Does that look good? Very cute. Let's go. some weights oh to the front end to see if it'll like carry the plane a little bit further so it's not so shifty in the wind I don't know a roll of pennies roll of pennies grandpa let us into his retirement here <laughs> to show the mess of a kitchen that we left. But a messy kitchen means we had a fun and a party full day, I guess. It was a good Father's Day and I wanna thank Bonnie for giving me such a wonderful Father's Day and hopefully you guys had a good Father's Day as well. If you guys liked today's video, give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next vlog.
Bye guys. Okay, I'm not done, but Lady's gonna help me with this one. We have found out that Aunt Linda has not been able to go out of her apartment at all since quarantine started because she is considered high risk. So Aunt Linda, we love you, we miss you, and we'll see you hopefully soon, and we hope you're doing well. Bye guys. Thank you.